Impish. That... That thing is insane. Holy crap. Okay. People of the internet. Um... <clears throat> we got a day ahead of us. A real long day. So I thought, jump in the comfiest clothes that I own. And, uh, let's get through this slog. Beat up all these guys down here. And then, uh, probably verse Watson tomorrow, not gonna lie. It probably won't be today. Um, but, uh, off stream, I'd be, uh, what's it called? Scene 2. I ended up beating, um, Scarlet last night, which, like, for all the hate that got ga that game got, I actually thought it was really good. And, like, if you're playing that, like, as a Nuzlocke, the game itself is not that bad. Like, the fights are actually decently hard. I think I remember the, the Steel Elite 4 member. Poppy, was it? She's actually, like, pretty hard. And then, um, uh, what's her name? Your rival, she has a great team as well. Like the leading Lycan Rock, which can set up Stealth Rock. It goes uh, the Axel Rock. The the game was good. It's just that it got a lot of flack because oh they're not innovating enough. Well, shut up. The game's good. I enjoyed it, and I like I still haven't gone through like the Isle of Masks. Oh no, the Teal Mask expansion side yet. But yeah, that, that, that's me on this side. Got the penguin. Um, but yeah, like, I, th I thought it was a great game, to be honest. And I'm going to keep playing it and probably going to play it competitively as well. On the side. For me. Anyways. Let's get to it. We ended up... Uh, also, I'm very sorry to the YouTube viewers yesterday. The mouse clicking? That was crazy loud. So we've got two guys. Now, I'm actually going to do something before I go any further. I'm going to rename this Nido, uh, whatever its name is. Because um, I've been watching the Pokemon Horizons on the side, and this... Come on, man. I know Monarch's a good name, but... <laughs> Nido things. Yeah, like, I, I, the, the anime is actually not that bad. Look, okay, no, no, it's better than, like, normal Pokemon. Um, so yeah, getting this, this was kind of good. Like, plus special defense, a crazy speed. But, getting this guy, man? What the hell is this? This thing is a demon. An absolute demon. Unfortunately, his name is Thornhill, but... I cannot wait until this turns into a Gliscor. That thing is going to be a monster. Oh yeah, that's right, we outspeed. So I don't know why I didn't go Will-O-Wisp there. That's weird. Yes, yes, I know. I'm the best trainer that has passed these lands. No need to thank me. I also like downed a whole block of chocolate before starting stream. I'm a, I'm a unit today. I got the Moo Moo one and everything. There's an AI thing where I think this could go Will-O-Wisp on the, um, what's it called? The Crawdaunt. But it should be alright. Alright, Arcanini, we have Olympus, which sees kill. Hypercutter, so we don't get our attack dropped. We just go Razor Shell for kill. The thing is, I think this could go 
Will-O-Wisp. But because we see kill, I think it always has to go for a, an attacking move, right? Okay, well, yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyways. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, we did need a, um, a muscle band on this. Okay, so I got it right. So it's Aura Sphere, we're going to DK. Looks like a really high roll. But Flash Cannon Crit never kills. We go Fake Out. Who cares? It has Steadfast. It's outspeeding us anyways. Go Low Sweep. Beautiful. This should be fur throw for return. And we go into Teddy Fresh. Where well, we just hit th this with a bunch of rock smashes. This can like lower our attack, but who cares? So Rock Smash should see kill from here. Um, the only issue is play rough crit. 34. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is flamethrower from Hound, uh, from Minetric. Are we going to Tulip? Actually, nah, then it's always Thunderbolt. Going to Tulip. Now I just need to check Thunderbolt crit. 81 is literally highest roll. Other than that, it's a 79. So we go Flame Burst. Cherry Berry in case it paras. for random move but we just go into um Gligar we just go bulldoze Into quick attack. <laughs> so I think this still outspeeds. Oh, it doesn't.
double battle fight and then straight into two encounters and the reason why we haven't done the Rustbro town one um, is because I want to see if I can get a static Pokemon because it's like 20% Pikachu here and I don't mind getting a Pikachu it's quick it deals a lot of damage especially if you get lightning ball on it Uh, it's a double battle. There's no reason to like screw out around with positioning. So these both have to target here because it sees kill. We simply just go protect and we go Psy Shock to kill this. Doesn't matter, we kill through. So now this still has to be targeted. And the best option we have isn't pickle. So go, go into Pickle. And this can see kill. Doesn't matter if it doesn't. Because we outspeed. unlucky so now That's fine. Went to the wrong one, but that's fine. Um, so now this targets this. Yep. And then Brian always kills because of double damage. So Psychic Crit never kills Shadow Facts. So we go, let's go Fire Spin. Crazy. All right. And then these both outspeed and kill. Uh, bite and 
and flame wheel. Right, two encounters. Let's just bring along good old easy. Um, what's his name? Let's bring you along. All right. So, because we didn't get a static Pokemon from earlier. We're out of town. We're kind of like forced to just go for the encounter here. Best case scenario, we get Togunamaru. Best case. Uh, like, that means we don't have to screw around. We can get Pikachu. It has static. You can turn it into like a Lolan Raichu or just Raichu. Um, some other cool things we could get. Meowth Galar, which turns into Perserker. Um, and that means you can get a uh, battle armor Pokemon that's steel, which is not that bad. So let's just do this. And see who we get. Pikachu's fine. 5% light ball. Oh, Captain. Let's call it Captain. Alright, so 5% light ball. I'm not too sad if I don't get it. There you go. I mean, like, it's a Pikachu. That that's that's crazy defense. And speed. Um, and let's take this with us and we'll head to Rust for her. Yeah, not delaying this encounter anymore. It is it, it's it's too too much on the mental to not get every single um encounter. So Rust Boro, we are just trying to get the static um the static. Uh, where are you? Rustboro City. Just trying to get the static token tomorrow. But there's some other good heavy hitters here. Like, um. Uh, uh, Meowth Galar, which I don't mind getting. Alright. <laughs> Let me check Pokeballs. Yeah, we should be good. Alright, give me Togo tomorrow. Beautiful. Actually, <laughs> huge. <laughs> Okay, Bashful's not bad. That's pretty good. Maybe, like, uh, possibly scale on the defense. Possibly. Possibly. But, like, 31 attack is crazy on this thing. Means you never need to give this, um... A, uh... Yeah, it's amazing. Um... Yeah, never need to give it Silk Scarf against um, the Zara Aura. Okay. So Zelectivire lead. We go Fake Out, Low Sweep, Low Sweep.
Uh, we have a cherry beer on this in case discharge um, crits. Uh, not crits, it uh, uh, lowers our speed. It paralyzes us. Beautiful. Cherry berry. Beautiful. Citrus berry activates, but that's fine. Low sweep should kill. So I think this is Quagsire for slow kill for Earthquake. Beautiful. Going to runs 36. Who's now quicker. And we kill with Leaf Blade. So I think this goes into Heat Crash Turtonator. That's what I think it goes into, but I'm not sure. Okay, it goes into Serena. For knockoff. Alright, and this outspeeds with two sludge bombs and kills. Non outspeed, so it is probably Turtonator. Okay. Heavy Slam or Heat Crash? Going to Pickle. There's a Rost Berry. So we go Toxic. Rost Berry, it's fine. Into Acid Spray. To give this minor special defense. Into Venice Shock, which should kill. So, Clobopus. Venoshock can kill from here. Look. Flame Burst can kill from here.
Yeah, it always did. I don't know what I was thinking. His minimum roll is 18. Okay. I was just stressing myself out for no reason. Next fight is free because we have uh, Toga Tamaru now. Exactly. Why Toga <laughs> kinda? Nah, come on, man. Alright. Right, we're never dead. Olympus? Yeah. Alright, that was scary. I probably could have just chucked like a... 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 a Rost berry on that instead. What's up, Yazi? Easy clap from here. We'll see. It relies on um, uh, Carnivine not getting paralyzed. That's it. And I have the correct positions for these two. All right, let's do it. All right, this is a crazy battle. I think I have everything lined up correctly. Yep, okay. So we go Leaf Blade to kill this, and we fake out this. Now because we have Togedemaru in position 2, this should bring up Bone Rush from um, Marowak. Okay, no Paralyze there, that's beautiful. So never sees flamethrower kill from uh, uh, Togedemaru. Uh, I mean, uh, Carnivine. So Carnivine should be able to kill with Leaf Blade, and we switch this out into Thorn Hill, um, which uh, yeah isn't affected by Bone Rush. So the thing is, it might not always kill. But it's kind of okay. The only issue is if this paralyzes Carnivine. All right. Beautiful. So this doesn't always kill. Okay, beautiful. So this is Lantern, um, what's it called? Signal Beam? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Lantern Signal Beam into Carnivine. Yes. Where we go into Togedemaru again. Now Thorn Hill he can stay in. The only issue is it's Brian Crit. That's it. Um, and it's like the only damage that we care about is like bulldoze on this. But I think I think I'm fine to switch in this now. No, it should be next turn. It should be next turn. Okay. Yeah, it should be next turn. Alright. 
So we're going knight slash. Oh, we could deal with. Uh, I, I don't know, man. How well do you deal with this? Okay. Let's try and do it this way. Alright, alright, alright. I think this is a lot safer. Yes, let's do it. Yep. So now we're only risking Brian crit on Togedemaru. Where we go fake out here. Oh, do I want to risk that? That is a crazy risk. Well, probably, uh, yeah, it's probably Icy Winding. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And Icy Wind never kills here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So go fake out here into Night Slash. Just because they really need to reset that tempo. Beautiful. Alright. So now I think it's double switch, right? Because now we're slower than both these two. Oh, why'd I do it this way? <laughs> alright, the reset tempo. Alright, 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 alright. Huge <laughs> team, yeah. All right. So now we switch this into this. Because I can't, I don't think we survive. Yeah, we don't survive Brian now. Okay. I mean, we could always go here. All right, we have cherry berry, it's okay. So now Samson gets targeted for the brine. Or is it 50-50 now, right? This doesn't outspeed. Track this on 61. Above 50? It is. <laughs> uh, so let me just check crit. Crit never kills. We can thrash, but we're stuck into thrash.
So now it's signal beam or brine into the cactus. 36. Okay. 35. Okay, it's one health higher, so I can never die. Lowest roll thrash. Uh, lowest roll... Uh, give me one second. Lowest roll stomp is 45. 45. Lowest roll thrash is 82. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Surely it's still not Brian. Yeah, it's not Brian because it doesn't see kill. It's need literally needed one more damage to see kill on Brian. So it's always signal beam into uh, uh, Carnivine, where we can go into um, the uh, so th Thrash kills. Thrash can never target your ally, right? Let me just check that. Uh, can Thresh target an ally? It can? Uh... Go here. And then we fake out and kill. Beautiful! No... Nope. No confusion. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Back to the fly trap. <laughs> All right, cactus, do us well. <laughs> I really gotta thank you because like I did not see the icy wind play there. Ugh. I really gotta thank you on that. Like I did see the icy wind play and I think that's what saved it. I mean if I didn't change up halfway through but Alright guys um unfortunately the shell fight is gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Um I still need a sit down and edit this whole video and upload it for tomorrow um i'd like to calc it out but like it's 10 30 now where i live and uh i like to edit and have everything done by like 12 o'clock so yeah thank you thank you guys for coming along uh shell will be at like what eight o'clock tomorrow i'll make sure it's at eight o'clock because the calc might take a minute but yeah, anyways, thank you guys for coming along. Um, I'll see you tomorrow, 7 to like 10.30.